Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to update you all on what's going on. Um, so I contacted the lady down at Housing Authority, and she uh, continually asked for this paperwork. So I contacted her supervisor, and of course. You can't expect these people not to work together. Um, I did let them know that I feel like I'm being discriminated against and targeted. Um, because like I said, I know other girls in the program that, you know, did the same thing for the pandemic and they didn't get put through this. This is like overwhelming. The lady, um threatened my housing multiple times um after i sent her an email off of the web the website of the government agency with a payment history that says i have no payment history with them because i don't receive it that um i don't receive that it was a one-time payment and um basically the lady continually threatened me and I did record her threatening me. And she said, got you while she was talking. And um, so just for the record, as I've told you all before, that is a popular phrase. She must have didn't know I was recording her. Um, but I was. And <clears throat> she was saying, oh, we're just going to use this paperwork and hopefully it'll be fine. Um, if anything else, we'll contact you. I said, okay. She said, if we find out this or that, you'll be sent papers of termination as you should be. This is what this woman said to me, as I should be. Oh, because I'm questioning you all and how you're going and conducting your business. So I have her recorded saying that I've been thinking about if I should post the recording or not, but, um, I just wanted you all to know what was going on. A lot of times they, because they monitor you, they know when you're having good days, bad days. A lot of times they'll try to attack on a bad day. So I get on here looking crazy. So I could get on here looking disheveled and all out of place, you know, because I'm a mother. I don't look like dressed up all the time. A lot of days I have down dress because well, I'm in the house with my children. So what am I dressing up for? Um, but I remember uh, I had went outside one day and uh, one of the, this girl I've never met before, never saw her before in my life, saw me and was like, oh, you actually look nice today. As if we know each other. And I was just like floored because I'm like, I don't know this young lady that's saying this comment to me. But anyhow, um... I wanted to update you all on what's going on and just pray for me. Um, as I stated in a previous video of my testimony, I did used to be a dancer and I walked away from dancing um, to pursue my relationship with God. With them threatening my housing, I feel like they are trying to do what they did before, traffic me meaning push me back into that lifestyle that I don't want to be in in order to provide for my family because it's 2021. Nobody can take care of a household and six children off minimum wage. They just can't. Nobody can just, a lot of people that start businesses are affiliated with the elite. They took a lot of my business from me. I do hair. Um, and now I've been getting strangers randomly out of the blue asking me to do their hair. But when I look on their pages, they're throwing up Masonic signs and it just looks like a bunch of perps and I wouldn't even trust them in my home. Um, I've been basically bullied by these women down at the office. Um, oh, and the lady asked me after saying all of that, so you're not moving? I said, no. She said, you're not moving. You're going to stay in the unit that you're in. I said, yes. And what I took from that was, we want you to move. You're not moving. 
So you're not moving. You you making a decision not to move. Intimidation tactic. Um, so my plan is to reach out to who's above her and who's above that person and who's above that person to get some type of justice because I definitely feel like the discrimination is going on. Um, I'm really counting on the Lord to step in and fight this battle to help fight this battle. Like last night I was so worked up and then I was just like, you know what, I just have to trust God. And when I said that, it was like all of the stress of it just left. I no longer felt anxiety over it. I no, I no longer felt fearful about it. And I just know that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. It shall not prosper. That is the word of God. And um, that's one thing I've seen these people run from. They're not going to run from you saying, I don't like you guys or whatever. They run from God. They can't because they know what they're doing is wrong. And they know what they're up to. These people are narcissists looking for narcissistic supply. TIs are usually empaths, uh, scapegoats of the family, the black sheep um, that actually cares for humankind. Um, that has a voice, a free thinker. And so um, they find your weaknesses. What? I don't know why these lights just went out. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I can get them back on. You know what? I think it may have overheated. May have overheated. Um, but as I was saying, um, being a single mother, nobody wants to worry about a roof over their children's head and the bullying. Like, I can't believe that women, black women, would target a single mother of six children and not blink an eye with no problem there it's almost like when i prove them wrong on that then she says oh well you were making a threatening statement in this email that i did not threaten her in um and she was like sending me their statues of when that happens and don't let it happen again it's like why are you trying to find something to try to you're like are you serious right now like you really want to make a mother be on the street with her children because i'm asking questions i'm not just letting you run over me and threaten me and constantly target and harass me like i'm just supposed to sit back and chill and eat popcorn and you're threatening my home no, I'm not going to sit back. I'm going to talk to your supervisor. Then I'll find out who their supervisor is. I don't care if I have to take this all the way to state. I will take it to court. I have no problem with that. They don't care. They don't have to pay for it. They don't have to represent the housing authority. They don't have to worry about it coming out of their checks. They don't have to worry about their family being on the street. So I'm just keeping a record of everything so that... Um, Oh, and remember you guys when I was talking about a video that I was trying to move, right? I was being harassed all through that to where I just said, forget it. I don't even feel like moving at this point. They've scared me to death. And guess what? This paperwork is the paperwork she was harassing me before she approved me to move. So if I, I gave you all this paperwork before, I don't receive this benefit anymore. So why are you asking me again for the same paperwork? I was just approved to move and everything. I was in the clear to move. Then you start asking me for the paperwork again. So now that you have the paperwork, then you're going to say that I threatened you. Like, why are you trying to target me? I never threatened her. I just told her, like, you know, what are you going to say when I show you that I haven't been receiving this benefit? So anyways, I wanted to update you all. I hope all is well. Um... Like I said, just keep me in your prayers that the Lord would just rebuke the enemy because the devil is a liar. The devil is, he sets people up for failure, but God said no weapon formed. 
So it might form. But he said, no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. So it shall not prosper. It will not prosper. In the name of Jesus, we will continue to be in our home <clears throat> by the grace of God. And God is going to provide for me and my family as he always has. Everyone, it's not too much for God to provide for a mother with six children. It doesn't matter if I made mistakes. A lot of people have made mistakes. Nobody is completely flawless but Jesus. So with that being said, don't try to corner me or make me feel like this is what I deserve. No, this is what you deserve for sitting up there, setting someone up their entire life for failure and then trying to, that's what the devil does. The devil puts the thought in your head and then says, ah, look at the thought you had. This is what they do. They operate under the power of the prince of the air, Satan. And we have authority as believers over Satan. So Satan, I bind you. I rebuke you. I cast you out of my life, out of my children's lives right now in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you all.